Hey everybody, welcome back to Focus with GK. Today I wanted to help you up your photography game a little bit, or at least give you maybe something new today that'll make you smile. Uh, you ever hear of the term crushing the blacks in your images? It's something that um, the industry kind of did a few years ago, and it kind of stayed around. And the reason why is it gives it an artsy, matte look in your blacks that I have learned to like, actually, depending on the scene that I'm actually photographing. So let me jump in Capture One here and show you what I mean by crushing the blacks, shall we? Okay, so look, so we are here in Capture One. Now, first things first, let me show you what I mean by crushing the blacks. This image right here, let me go full screen so you can see it. This image is out of the camera, it is what it is. All these images are raw files, by the way, not JPEGs. Um, you don't have this kind of leniency with your JPEGs, which is why raw is so important. Um, crushing the blacks, to me, is doing this. You see how the blacks are matte, flat looking? And it does this to the whole image. And this does not work on every single image you'll ever create in your life, but on certain shots, this could really give you an edge and help you with some details in the blacks that I just have learned to like a lot. Um, I like this matte look, honestly. It looks very artistic and it, uh, it helps the scene depending on what I'm actually doing. So let me show you something. Here's the original image. Now I have a preset up here um, called GK Film Subtle Tones. And what that does is, let me show you. Let's go to your exposure stuff. Let's go down to curves. Now, when you're in curves, you can be on RGB or different actual areas that you want to do this effect to. I'm going to keep it on RGB, which basically means the entire image. If I put a selection point right here, okay, when I grab these bottom blacks and go up, See how it goes to that matte look? It kind of goes grayish, and of course, it, you know, the, the further you go, the worse it looks. So here's where you can kind of play and create your own preset. This is where the fun part kind of begins. My preset may get you there, and then some small tweaks is all you'll have to do, which is great. But let me just explain to you what happens here. Raise the blacks a little bit until where they look kind of grayish. Now, from here, you can put another selection point and do your whites. And you can see what you do or do not like. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna control Z. I'm gonna go back to where it's just these blacks. Okay, now, let's go to this image here. Let's look at what's going on. All right, so. I love how these things can look. I have my brightness up a little bit. You can bring that down. Usually what I'll find when I do these blacks is you can actually raise your exposure a little bit, but most importantly, it's all about right here in your high dynamic range. It's where your shadows lie. You can take your shadows and just bring your shadows up. And of course, too much is too much. Bring it back down. Pretty cool, right? Let me go to another image that absolutely shows what I'm talking about here. Let's, uh, let's go find another image. Yeah, I find it, it makes your candids at a wedding look really cool as well. Let's say you love this shot. Let's go up on the exposure a little bit. Um, I like the color, a snivel, and this is what I would normally deliver to my client. Out the camera, this looks fantastic. However, if you wanted to do something kind of fun, let's go back down to the GK Film Subtle Tones. Let's click on that. It is uh, defaulted to a vertical crop just from a past image that I worked on. But now, all I have to do is to adjust color, and I'm done. Look at the difference of how the blacks look in this image. It, everything looks a little more flattened out. But the cool part is you can still adjust from here. You can still bring your shadows up a lot more. Or you can leave it as you were. Bring your exposure 
up a tad. You can bring this guy up. And you're good to go. But if you like those flat black, crushed black looks, you can. So all I'm adjusting is color and shadow and exposure after clicking my little preset here. Isn't that pretty cool? Let's go to another image. And look, let's do this. You know, in Capture One, you can do Command Shift C for copy. And let's go pick another image that this may work on. Uh, how does this look? These guys look fun. Let's paste. Let's bring these guys down a little bit. And the crushed black is there, but not too much. So if you wanted it more than that, you can totally bring your shadows down. Isn't that cool? Here's your curves. I'm still on RGB. You can totally bring this up a little bit. You can bring it down, which makes those blacks really, really, really dark and pop. But the more you bring these guys up, more of that little grayish matte look kind of happens. Watch. Let's copy. Let me show you where it's really evident. And when I took the couple outside is where I know this crushed to black is going to work. I must have taken them out earlier than this. All right, hold on, let me find them. Where did we go outside? Oh, here's one. Let's do this. Here's the rings. Love this shot on the rings. Check this out. Now, off the bat, this image is really really crisp it's sharp it's out of the camera i love this is what i love about the fuji camera i love the grain look in the noise and it doesn't look like that really bad digital noise i like that film grain look that my fuji files have um so watch this let's paste that is the flat black look with the same color balance as the other image so let's go ahead and adjust that Let's adjust my crops again. Now, just to show you what the Crush to Blacks even looks like, out the blue, bam. Nice, flat, matte looking blacks. Very cool, right? Well, the neat thing is, what would you do with this image for yourself? Would you take your shadows and come up a little more? See, see, that is that is just so cool to me, y'all. I could bring these shadows way up or way down. And that is all I usually do when I'm crushing the blacks, honestly, is messing with my white balance and then messing with the shadows. That's usually it, because you've already exposed correctly for your image. So, you know, automatic color on an image or if you need a have your little selection tool and click on something white, black, or gray. There's usually always something white, black, or gray in an image. You'll be aware of that for now on. Take your color picker and go click on something white, black, or gray and see how you like it. Isn't that cool? That is what we call crushing the blacks. So let's look at the same image. Let's go back an image here. That's the image out of the camera. And let's go to this one because those lights were actually on. This is more out of the camera. So if you were to come up a smidge, you know, I like my structure up a tad, but look at the difference of that and that. Isn't that cool? I like this. Love this better. That is too cool. Which, by the way, in case you're wondering, and I'm sure you are, this is my 16 millimeter 1.4. What I love about that 16 millimeter lens is how close I can get. I can get within, what, two inches of my subject, the ring, the person, the flower, whatever it is. It's not a macro lens because it doesn't enlarge your image, but you can get really, really close. And the other thing that I do like about that is that it allows me to handhold these close images. And when I crop later, I don't lose any detail. Life is good. 
Let's go find, I still want to find an image I want to show you guys when we went outside. Because we did go outside. Here we are. Here we are. Alright, so check this out. This is the image out of the camera. This is normally what I'll deliver my client, but when I'm feeling artsy, let's go ahead and do exactly what I showed you to do. Let's go to your presets, your style. Let me go to my GK Film Subtle Tones. Click on that. Let's go back to my image stuff. Let's do automatic white balance. Let's adjust my crop. Uh, I love, let's do the city stuff over here because I know y'all want to see all those the twinkles back there. So look, off the bat, boom. I know what you're thinking. It's a little red. Well, no problem. Let's fix some of that red. Again, everything has white, black, or gray. Here's my gray. That looks a little more spot on. Let's take my Kelvin, go up a smidge, and I'm good. So here we go. Shadows are almost in the halfway mark. We can go up more to show more detail, or we can bring it down to where you're really honestly doing what they say, crushing the blacks. So the lower I get, the more moody it is. What I love about doing this, where the shadows are really, really dark, if you've got something really moody you want to accent, you still have details in your blacks. They're just super, super flat. I dig that. And let's take the shadows, let's come up. So it's kind of like this. Here's your image, but here's the mood. I love that. All I care about is them and some of that city. And I'm good to go. Not too shabby, huh? So look, I'm gonna have a link below to my style. It is a free complimentary download if you are using Capture One. Um, the crushing the blacks is something that I have learned to really like, whether it's daytime or nighttime images, and it gives me just a little bit something different than the guy down the block is actually doing. So, thanks for joining me today on Focus with GK. I have more of these kinds of videos coming to you really soon. Um, I am a working pro photographer, and this is what I do all day long. I capture my images, I process my images, I deliver to the client. And all of those steps gets repeated, but micro adjustments along the way to, uh, you know, enhance my photography game. So I hope I helped you out a little bit. I hope you really do stay focused on your dreams. Subscribe if you have not. And I will see you in the next video. All right? Peace, y'all.